Um, I would like to see um, probably a version of participatory economics or PariCon. Um, and I really like PariCon because it checks for a lot of the problems that uh, kind of like Soviet style communism had. So the, the four parts of it are there is no ownership of means of production. Another part is balanced job complexes because we know that class comes from not just ownership of means of production, but also from what you do every day. So if you only sweep the floor and that's like your main job, that you're going to dumb your brain down in some way, you know, or you're not going to be par uh, able to participate. And if you're like a manager, you make decisions, you know, you're going to have a different consciousness than if you're doing like more mundane tasks, you know. So balanced job complexes where we, we all have like a mix of different kinds of tasks, you know, and it's like pretty much average empowering and average empowerment for all people. Like that would be balanced job complexes. Um, a third aspect is uh, reward for effort and sacrifice and uh, difficulty and things like that, or um, uh, not difficulty, but how, how nasty and hard it is and stuff like that. So um, just however many hours you work, that's how much you should get paid, because no one can really work that much longer or harder than anyone else. So that seems a little bit more fair, right? Um, excluding disability and things like that. And then the fourth part is participatory planning. So like a planned economy, but we plan it ourselves, you know, and, and we can do that in a participatory way that's still efficient and still would work really well. So uh, PariCon is really awesome and there's a lot of information on it if you want to look into it. And I think that's a really good place to start as thinking about uh, alternatives to capitalism. I think it really checks for a lot of the problems with capitalism, market capitalism, as well as with Soviet-style communism. And I really like PariCon.